Hello, Kevin. How are you today, sir? <laughs> oh, oh! Looks like we got a baby! Look at this little bald neck boy. Poppy and Vinny are hanging out. John Wick is stuck in Tilted Towers and he needs your help. I hear peeping. <gasps> Watch out, fellow Redditors. Tonight and for the next few days, I'm going on vacation and I'm bringing you guys with me. But first, we got a Reddit account. That's right. Uncle Ben got his very own subreddit. We actually have three subreddits now. And to that, I tip my fedora to you. Hello, Kevin. How are you today, sir? <laughs> oh, oh. The baby. Hello, sir. Welcome back. Oh, hey, Kevin. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you, if you join our Reddit army, then I will tip. I will not only tip my fedora to you, but you can get a baby signed uh, bathtub, and I might even give you a little kiss. <laughs> I might even just give you guys a little hug and a kiss, and I might have a meme review. I've seen that you guys have been posting a lot of really great memes on these subreddits, and you guys keep sending me a bunch of memes. And I got a little Instagram page to shout out for you guys, and they've been making ow, oh, they've been making wonderful, wonderful memes. So I want to make a quick little shout out for them. Check this out. Ooh, that one's a bleeder. That one's a bleeder. That one's a bleeder. Get out of here, Kevin. And on that note, let's take a look at these memes. I would roast you, but my mom said I'm not allowed to burn trash. See, he still follows me, but watch. Slowly. You don't even have to do it hard. Kevin, get out. <laughs> Wasn't that funny, guys? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put Kevin back in the corner yard before I go on vacation so that my farm sitter can take care of him safely. <laughs> and after that, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, some pigs and some geese from a YouTuber named of Fanatic uh, and help him move down to Florida. Because I was going down to Florida for vacation anyways. Oh, and I might even film a bunch of fun little vlogs for you guys. Might meet up with the young man named David Oren. Perhaps I'll even catch an iguana or two. Put some antiseptic on. Pug has destroyed this ostrich mask, but I might even catch a little gator or perhaps a little invasive python. Perhaps old Uncle Ben will even take you kids fishing. <laughs> Would you like that? Comment below. Also guys, John Wick is stuck in Tilted Towers and he needs your help to be saved from the Amogus imposter. And if you don't like this video and share it with 50 Team, no, 30 friends, then he might get, be sus and, and vent. You guys don't want John Wick to be sus and vent, do you? You guys don't want to be sussy little backers, do you? Do you? Then head on over to the subreddit r slash ostrich plug to get connected with us and our friends. Our main subreddit is going to be called r slash ostrich plug, but we also have some friends on the subreddits r slash urban rescue ranch and r slash the urban rescue ranch kevin hey <laughs> would you like some food sir thank you oh <laughs> you dropped it karen has kevin been pulling on the back of your hair looks like poggers finally destroyed these flippers that's it guys thanks so much for liking and subscribing our videos we love you so much we appreciate you hey get back inside don't just stand there put the food out there go ahead feed them well it looks like even Vinny's getting into the dog food i've actually been unable to catch him for three days now Vinny, please go back in your little enclosure before I end up being scared for you all weekend because I think you're going to get killed. Sir? Hey, I'll just leave that there for my roommate and the farm sitter. $14 for scratch grains. $19 for chick starter. $11 for layer pellets. I might just start giving everything sweet feed. Wow, more mouths to feed. And these ones are little mini nuggets. Actually, wait, these ones might be little mini nuggets. These are the little ones with the bald necks. Look at their cute little bald necks. Oh, look at this little bald neck boy. Let me know in the comments if you guys want us to get a little bald neck boy. Oh, Poppy and Vinny are hanging out. Poggers opened this little thing up and Poppy's just hanging out down here. And Vinny was laying with her. So I thought we heard a whistle in here, so I'm gonna give you guys the first look. Oh my gosh. Actually, wait, no, no, no. It's okay, it's okay. Well, well, well.
Uh, I'm wearing a different outfit now because the other one was getting all sweaty because I was getting so excited. Uh, but I made this little smaller area for the brooder. They already moved the other guys outside, which is kind of perfect. I just had to go ahead and wash all these off, though, make sure they were nice and clean, even though that does look like there's a little poop there still. Put some bleach on it. I put the chick in there so that it can watch it eat. The Rhea already, look at how cute he is. Oh, it's just a little Kevin Karen hybrid. How precious. But he already got kind of wet, as you can see, he kind of fell in the water. I'm gonna move this little water out until he's a bit older. I'm gonna put it over on this side. Look how precious this baby is. But he got a little wet because he fell in the water. So I'm not gonna use the big pool water until they're smart enough to not do that. Put the little small water in there and then we're gonna go ahead and put some chicks in there with him so he doesn't get lonely. But right now I'm just gonna, just giving him a little bit of water. Look how precious it is. It's a little baby Kevin. Oh. I'm gonna be as gentle as possible, as you did just have. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this creature is. Look how amazing, just tiny little dinosaurs is what they are. They should be kind of dry now. What I really wanna do is just make sure he stays under here. Keep him under the lamp. All right, y'all, this is the setup and this is my game plan, all right? When they're this little, they really need to make sure that, that the heat is at 90 something, right? For the time being though, I'm gonna keep them with two chicks, at least until we get another Rhea. And then I'm going to kind of rotate, kind of like crop rotating. As this starts to get a little dirty, I'll rotate them to the next pad. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep doing that. Uh, and then while I do that, I clean these guys, let them dry outside and put them back in once they're clean. But this provides the Rhea with a little bit of stimulation with seeing the other chicks. And then also, you know, they're, they're smart enough to just look at the chicks eating the food and drinking the water and think, okay, I can do that too. One very big concern I have though, is when I was trying to disassemble this bottom rack to turn it into a hatcher, I wasn't able to unscrew this screw. This thing is kind of just stuck here, which really, really stinks. So I'm gonna have to fix this. If you guys in the comments have worked with these at all, I cannot get this screw out. I'm thinking about just grabbing a pair of pliers and just trying to unscrew it manually or pull it out. Right, and then it's stripped. Then I started using a flathead and that was working for a while, but I swear I turned it at least like 30 times and still didn't come out. I wasn't really 100% sure they would turn it a radius that's enough to be able to, to work. Uh, what's cool though, and what's interesting is what I could potentially do is kind of drill a hole, kind of like what's already here, and then drill it down there and then get the screw from the other side. And then after I drill that hole, I could potentially plug it back up with a little bit of styrofoam or something. Until then though, I might just have to screw this thing back on. All right guys, that's it, love ya. Might not actually be going on vacation now probably, but whoa! Look Look at how it hatched out, guys. Look at that. Ew, look, this is its placenta. Hmm, might have to cook that up tonight. Psych, in my room's trash bin you go. You ordered a spy camera. This is going in one of your packages, guys. We're getting one more load of these guys in the mail, probably in June. And then we're probably done. No more spy cameras after that ever. But if you ordered after May 12th, then you're gonna get yours probably in late June. Also, Poggers destroyed this halo mask. And look, it's got lights on it. I didn't even notice that. The force is with you. <laughs> this goes to show, guys. There's no vacations on the Urban Rescue Ranch. <laughs> no vacations at all. Ah, ah, ah.